What's up everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm checking out this exclusive limited release from Sierra Nevada. This is the Pronto IPA. This is actually one they created to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Trader Joe's. And that is the only place I believe you can pick this up. Last time I had Saul, um, I've not seen any other place out there carrying it. Maybe you can get it at the brewery or something along those lines. But as far as any store offering it, only Trader Joe's, which would make sense if it's their 50th anniversary they're celebrating. So this one actually is an IPA, as those on the bottle, but it's actually done with mango and hibiscus. So the hops used are designed to kind of bring somewhat of a citrus feel as well as a floral. On the back of the label, they provide a little bit of details there about the beer if you want to try to pause and check that stuff out. But I'm not going to mention as much about it except that it mentions the Calypso, Comet, and Centennial hops being a part of the hops they're actually using in here. Um, and it's designed to actually get that nice fruit forward and floral hop feeling going. So let's go ahead and get it open and get into a glass, see what this one has to offer. Now on the pour right there, I'm already picking up some of the aroma coming out. You can see it actually delivered a pretty large head as far as what you're looking at, probably about a four finger head that actually has a nice foaminess to it. Sits off white, kind of a cream type color. You look at that body, you do have some cloudiness in play as well. So you're not really seeing through to the other side. Nothing wrong with that, it is a craft beer. Nice orange color on it, amber color, which you would expect to have for that uh, SRM level for an IPA, as far as the aroma. Nice aroma. Definitely getting that presence of the floral coming out very easily, not having to snip too hard to get it out of the glass. Climbs out rather nicely. You do pick up the citrus action. I am picking up some of that mango, picking up some of that orange as well in the background. But that mango is a delightful aroma coming out. Um, very kind of refreshing on the nose. A um, little bit similar to something like maybe off of a tropical feel with like some of the pineapple or papaya along those lines. But it's got a nice earthiness to it as well. And like I said, you do get some of that floral stuff. But Let's go ahead and get the taste. Nice good taste on the IPA. You definitely get a good amount of dryness in there, which is a characteristic of the style itself. Gets off the tongue nicely, getting it around the mouth nicely as far as any type of mouth feel taking place. Gets into the cheeks rather easily. Getting a little bit of a sting in that area as well. A little bit of a tingling feel. Bitterness on the front, bitterness on the finish. Really hits the tip of the tongue nicely with that bitterness there. You are picking up all the citrus notes in the taste as well. Still picking up some of that kind of floral type presence. As far as anything that jumps out on the taste or on the palate. Carbonation is lively for sure, but it's not over carbonated. Uh, nice texture, not thin in any means. Nice, uh, good, strong uh, body to it. Pretty much sits as a medium body type beer. Um, as far as the feel of the finish, you do get a nice break from the initial. And then it has a uh, dry quality, as I mentioned. So, very nice overall as far as IPA. You're looking at the glass, you are getting some lacing taking place. Although it's not doing overly an amount of lacing but it is some there not as much equally balanced i guess you can say but that is what it is a little bit of kind of like a a fizz in there from the carbonation itself not really getting any wateriness i mean the taste i'm also picking up what i would consider to be kind of more like a pineapple type feel as well but all in all pretty decent as a beer sits rather nicely in the mouth you are going to have some astringency taking place as well. I do feel a little bit of that as far as like any uh, pucker and tight sensation. But let's go ahead and break it down here as far as how I would look at this beer and what it came out as. As far as 
appearance. I'm going to actually give the appearance on this one. I thought it was decent coming out. Uh, head was a little larger than it needed to be for the pour that I had done. I wasn't really doing anything overly trying to draw a larger type head. So it was kicked up a little bit because of the carbonation. But all in all, pretty decent. Nice color on the beer. Lacing could be a little bit more tighter than it actually is. So on the appearance, I'm actually going to give this one a uh, 11 out of uh, 15 for this type of IPA. As far as the aroma... Aroma was there for what they promised. You do get that floral. You do get that fruitiness. You do get the characteristics you would want in the IPA. Nice mixture of the hops. All came together. Didn't have to sniff really hard to get it out of there. I think they did a pretty good job as far as the aroma. So I'm going to give that one a 13 out of 15 in that regard. As far as the flavor, the flavor had the... Bitterness and everything um, as you basically drank it down as an IPA. Did it really set itself out from anything else? Not really. Duration was about average in there. Nothing overly great along those lines. But the flavor was solid enough that you could sit there and you could enjoy it. You knew what to expect and it pretty much delivered. So in that regard, I'm going to actually give them a uh, 11 out of 15 as well. As far as... The palette, I did find it to be pretty palatable. I thought it had a good body on it at that medium body type level. I thought the texture was pretty solid, not too watery at all in any regard. Carbonation a little bit more than maybe it needed to be, but very, very close. And you did have a nice feel of that finish in the end. It does provide a somewhat decent type taste in beer. So on the palette itself, I'm going to actually give this one an 11 out of 15. And as far as an overall, for a beer that's considered to be, you know, an IPA type style, I actually think it's okay, it's solid, not really disappointing at all. So I would actually give this one overall, or I'm going to give this one overall, a uh, 34 out of 40. So let's go ahead and total those all up here from my trusty calculator. So for the Pronto IPA, an 80 out of 100. Not too bad, really. So, a nice little deal that you can pick up at Trader Joe's. I think this bottle was $2.99, and this is the 24-ounce bottle. Definitely worth the value in that regard. But if you've had this one before, let me know. Put your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. And if not, give it a try, and then uh, let me know what you thought about it as well. That all being said, thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Get your beer on. Cheers.